Hello. My name is Kim Na Young, and I'm the head of the Tesla department. And your name is Kim Hong Ho, Mr. Lee. Yes. Okay, we have 10 minutes, and I'll ask you several questions on yourself and your uh, educational background or something like that. So please answer the questions as soon as you can. Okay. okay. Are you nervous or something? Yeah, I'm a little bit nervous. You don't need to. <laughs> you do it. Okay, first, tell me about yourself briefly. Um, my name is Chang Lee, and I am 23 years old. Uh, I graduated from Myeongdong Foreign Language High School, and I am a senior at senior of English Education Department at Korea University. And I'm expected to graduate from this university in August 2005. Um, my hobby is playing electric guitar, and I join in a rock band whose members are composed of students of our department. And I played as the first guitarist. And um, I'm very enthusiastic about my major, and I would like to study English education more. And so that's so I apply for a graduate school of university in the United States. Mm -hmm. Okay. Besides the rock band, mm -hmm. do you have any extracurricular activities you have done in the university? Yeah. When I was a freshman, I made a rock band with my friends. And um, at first time, we just got together and played our favorite songs. Then one day, one of the foreign professors at our department asked us to participate in the campaign about helping sick people. And if we make a lot of money, then we could save their lives. And with other teams, we could get, I guess, um, I think $8,000. So we could save their lives, and we were very proud of ourselves. And it was it was one of the most memorable and amazing experiences that I have ever had. Mm -hmm. That's nice. And your resume says that your major is in English language education. Mm -hmm. Why did you choose your major? Um, I liked pop songs very much when I was 10 years old, <laughs> and I listened to them <laughs> and memorized the lyrics of the songs. So because of that, when I entered middle school, my English was better than other students. So I got confidence in English, and so I studied English a lot. And if I even participated in the English speech contest, and I got the first prize. So some of my friends encouraged me to be an English teacher, and they asked, they asked me to change current um, English teaching methods in Korea, um, grammar translation, which is not effective and which is very boring. So so that so I decided to be, be an English teacher and I chose English education department at Korea University which has the best reputation in that area. Okay. And have you been to the US before? Yes, I have been to U United States when I was twelve years old, but I was too young so there is nothing left in my memory about the United States. I went to Canada twice to improve my English, and um, I homestayed at my foreign high school teacher's house. Mm -hmm. And he has worked. He has worked in. He had worked in Korea for three years, and he came back to his hometown. And he has run an English academy, English institute for for many other country students, and in, in Calgary. And um, I, I joined in his academy and studied English there for two months. And I think that experience gave me uh, confidence in speaking English, and I could learn a lot of North American culture with him. Thank you. Uh, and okay, you said you wanted to be an English teacher, right? Mm. Then why did you apply <laughs> for this university? Um, why did I apply for graduate school? Yeah. Um, that's a tough question. <laughs> um, I just thought that studying at undergraduate school was not enough to learn um, effective, effective English teaching skills. And also, I realized that 
I, I have to get a higher degree if I wanted to change the current ineffective Korean English teaching model. So, so I decided to further my study and receiving degrees such as master's degree and PhD degree. So that's why I applied for a graduate school. Then why this school? Why our school? Ah, uh, why your school? <laughs> <laughs> Because I think that, I think the Department of TESOL at your university is one of the best in the United States. And, <laughs> and its faculties and facilities are known to be excellent. Mm -hmm. And um, I know that it has a time-honored tradition. I heard that it has been more than 50 years since your university opened TESOL department. And, uh, for the la lastly, um, the curriculum listed in the bulletins of the university was suitable for me. Mm -hmm. So that's why. Yeah. Can I ask about your research interest? Uh, research? Um, so, what kind of thing I would like to research? In? Uh -huh. um, since I don't receive my bachelor's degree yet, I'm not sure. What kind, what, what field I'm going to research in TESOL, but um, I think CALL, uh, Computer Assisted Language Learning, mm -hmm. might be my personal choice if possible, um, because I'm very good at computer stuff and I have a great interest in computer related learning materials. And these days, computer technologies are developing fastly and um, Every day there comes uh, interesting and effective computer-related learning materials. For example, um, <coughs> Sims, is, Sims is a full 3D online computer game, but it's not just a computer game. Um, people can chat with other countries, people in English, and at the same time they can enjoy it, so students like it. So probably by using this kind of computer materials, I will be able to make many efficient CALL methods for Korean students. That's my hope. You surely know the current. Mm. Okay, then what's your plan after graduating from this university? Mm. After graduating from university, um, I think probably I'll have to I, I'll go back to Korea mm. and um, join in a military service as an officer in the military academy. And after finishing my military duty, I would like to study TESOL and apply linguistics more. And my final goal is to be a famous and great English scholar in Korea, English education scholar in Korea. And I would like to change current un uneffective Korean teaching methods to sophisticated and updated methods. every project and work before deadline. For example, last semester I had to prepare for applying for several universities including your universities and I had to take midterm and final exams and also TOEFL test. And our department require us a lot of reports and pre pre presentations but I made it with all my efforts and so I think that's kind of... Yeah, yeah. And my weakness is that I don't like to start a new thing. In other words, I'm not a risk taker. Mm -hmm. um, for example, if I go to a restaurant, I never order new food because I'm afraid about it. I think that's my weakness. Hey, do you have any questions? <laughs> yeah, I have a question. Um, I would like to ask about teaching assistants. Mm -hmm. um, do I need to submit TSE transcript uh, to get TA. Oh yes, you should submit the TSE score yeah. and it should be over 50. 50. Yes. 
Thank you. Okay, thank This is it. And thank you for your answering. And we will report our final decision to you at the end of this month. Thank you very much. Thank you.